Hello to everyone from the world of Zone News. Thank you for choosing us. Our video today is about the 2023 Bentley Bentayga EWB. You will make us happy by watching the video until the end. Given the prevailing economic headwinds hitting British luxury brands like Aston Martin and Jaguar, the Bentley is nothing if not pragmatic. But Bentley has had a very good year so far and the Bentayga has played a huge role in filling the company's coffers. To celebrate, crew took a short break and envisioned an extended wheelbase EWB, version of its imposing luxury SUV. After spending some time with the Bentayga EWB, it's clear that pragmatism pays off, along with a top-notch experience in the second row of the EWB that is truly something special. To some extent, yes, the EWB is a flexible business, a suitable Bentayga for those who prefer to be in the back rather than the driver's seat. This will certainly be true for some owners, not as many as you might think. But Bentley has put some effort into making sure the conversion is more comprehensive than just a cut and paste, with an alleged 2,500 new parts, a gimmicky rear steering system, and some very generous rear seat options. First, the longer wheelbase and roof visually tilt the Bentayga forward, giving it an imposing and sleeker appearance. Massaged character lines on the sides, the vertical wing grille adapted from the rim of the new flying spur, and a polished version of the Bentayga's 22-inch wheels help sell the flex. The uneven door shapes, an enormous back door that outshines a much smaller front door, break the spell a bit. But it's inevitable when class-leading rear passenger space, and access, is the main motivation. At 60 miles per hour, just a tenth of a second slower than its shorter V8 stablemate, the 542 horsepower EWB doesn't leave much on the table. The 220 pound EWB he carries around looks like a drop in a huge bucket, the total is now 7,165 pounds to be exact. Currently, the 4.0 liter, twin turbocharged V8 is EWB's only engine available. We wonder why Bentley didn't use the Bentayga's existing W12 engine but maybe it could be used in an even more special version of this longer SUV. More importantly, the dynamic balance has not changed much. Yes, the EWB is 7.0 inches longer, but a new rear steering system, a first on a Bentayga, means the turning circle is smaller than on a short wheelbase Bentayga. Add in the magic of adjustable dampers, from a little softer than a regular Bentayga to just as stiff in sport mode, and standard 48-volt active roll bars, and you've got a vehicle that doesn't feel as tall or bulky. Actually, at least from the driver's seat. This adds to an experience that should not upset the stomach of rear passengers on a windy road and should even entertain the driver. The sheer bulk of the EWB somewhat overshadows its performance. Bentley claims it will reach 100 km per hour in 4.5 seconds, and there's no reason to doubt that, but the way it accelerates makes it feel more deliberate than explosive think of the steam train instead of the overgrown WRX. Power and torque are plentiful and easily accessible, and in sport mode the exhaust emits a pleasant and majestic grunt, but the slow intrusion of the accelerator makes smooth shifting to the throttle a mild challenge. It's hard to think of anything other than the back seat, the ample space where you have to relax, or even lie down. Not even a bulky word, private long-haul airlines infused into an SUV. Interior space is wider than the older Molson sedan, which is even longer and effectively replaced by the EWB. Even the transverse triple rear seats, like you'd find in a regular Bentayga, allow you to enjoy the space, while allowing you to fully appreciate the more tailored seating options, the 4 plus 1 and 4-seater layouts. EWB's accommodations. However, there is no third-row seating option, and with all the flexing occurring between the wheels, the rear cargo room is no different from the shorter wheelbase models. The airline chair probably conjures up memories of economy-class torture devices for many, but instead consider the most comfortable business-class throne and then give it 22 different adjustment shapes. Then add some useful information, a system that uses sensors to automatically warm and cool both your back and butt from six levels to the right chosen temperature. Almost imperceptible mixing of massage sacks to gently move your body for three hours to prevent anything numb. And most importantly, the ability to recline up to 40 degrees while breathing air purified by ionizers, 
plenty of room for a pleasant sleep, or simply look up through the huge top glass panel. All this can be accomplished with a few taps on the screen of the very slick, removable, touch-sensitive panel that motorizes from the rear of the dashboard and detaches from its magnetic base with a gentle pull. Control both seats climate control you can say, open the huge sunshade above, and do a bunch of other things. But sliding the front seat forward, unfolding the footrest, and curling up in your fully reclined airline seat to rest will be the most popular application of this little device. We predict that the airline seat option, available in both 4 plus 1 and 4 seat configurations, will be the most popular seating option for EWB, despite its significant five-figure cost, given its impressive comfort and pomp. Equally important to some customers, given the size of the rear doors, are optional electric tailgate operators. Their use is intuitive, when you poke the open door, the motor will shut down at an intentional rate. From the inside, pressing a button recalls the door, preventing the long and awkward access to the door pole. Bentley worked harder with the EWB to overcome the dreaded noise, vibration and harshness that may have come from the modifications needed to provide a longer, wider and potentially more resonant rear chamber. After all, there are wider windows, both on the top and on the sides. The problem was addressed in two ways, the acoustic glass in the windshield was revised and the exhaust system was redesigned. Pair this with the overhaul damper programming, the softest setting is noticeably softer than on any other Bentegas, and the result is a more serene experience. With so much technology incorporated into the suspension and such a wide operating range, what's surprising is that there are almost no wrong answers when it comes to choosing a drive mode in the EWB. Comfort it's as soft as a feather, with only the feel of bumps and swells from afar, but happily devoid of any boat-like side-to-side -side movement thanks to the well-adjusted active roll bars. Meanwhile, the most robust setting offers advanced insight into road surfaces and textures without the slightest hint of punishment. With body movement so well controlled, choosing a suspension setting is more about how much interaction you want than how much sway you can withstand. The additional wheelbase also certainly plays a role in helping the car settle in between each axle rolling over a flaw. Bentley buyers are spending more per vehicle than ever before, and unsurprisingly they value space and luxury more than utility, especially at the high end of the EWB's range. After all, the EWB is significantly more expensive than its short wheelbase counterparts, starting at $229,625, or an impressive $266,225 for Azure hardware, and offers plenty of opportunities to bubbling on options and indulging in upgrades like the airline seat. Bentley estimates that many customers will add around $40,000 to the base price of the EWB model of their choice, a figure that's not hard to understand given the prices of some options. Four-seater interior with airline seats? That will be $14,915. But these expenses will not only make the car themselves, but also create an impressive image and price tag of the kind that a magnificent vehicle like the Mulsanne sedan once embodied.